Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the shadowy skies of next generation autonomous warfare with Shield AI's XBAT prototype, the groundbreaking AI piloted vertical takeoff and landing fighter drone that's poised to revolutionize unmanned combat aviation as the world's first fully autonomous VTOL stealth jet, capable of operating in GPS and communications denied environments with a staggering 2,000 nautical mile range and a service ceiling of 50,000 thousand feet. Unveiled on October 21st, 2025, this audacious design from the San Diego-based innovator, building on the combat-proven VBAT tactical drone, embodies America's push to disrupt the collaborative combat aircraft market, offering runway-independent launches from austere land sites, amphibious assault ships, or even non-aviation vessels to project lethal power across vast theaters like the Indo-Pacific or contested littorals. If you're a drone tech aficionado, a military futurist, or just hooked on the seamless blend of neural network autonomy, stealthy aerodynamics, and modular lethality that transforms a single pilot equivalent platform into a swarming force multiplier, you're in for a riveting and exhaustive deep dive. The XBAT isn't just an incremental upgrade, it's a cranked kite planform powerhouse at 26 feet long with a 39 foot wingspan and 4.7 feet tall, powered by a single afterburning jet engine akin to an F-16 class for Mach Plus dashes, featuring radar absorbent composites, internal weapons bays for air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120, and external hardpoints for up to six precision-guided munitions, enabling it to evade advanced air defenses while delivering strikes from standoff ranges exceeding 500 kilometers, or conducting persistent ISR with synthetic aperture radar resolutions down to one meter. From its conceptual genesis, in early 2025, amid escalating great power competition to today's scale model reveal at a high-profile event, this prototype has leveraged over 1 million simulation hours of SHIELD's HiveMind AI to master complex maneuvers like tail-sitting recoveries and collaborative wolfpack tactics, incorporating lightweight titanium alloys and gallium nitride electronics to cut operational costs by 70% compared to manned fighters making it a scalable asset for attritable swarms in scenarios from peer conflicts over Taiwan to counter drone ops in the Middle East. We'll unpack its jaw-dropping performance envelope in meticulous detail, furnish a rigorous technical blueprint drawn from the freshest disclosures, dissect its game-changing implications for U.S. air dominance and allied power projection, weave in some mind-bending fun facts to supercharge the story, and close with the bleeding-edge updates as of October 21, 2025, including first flight timelines and partnership teases for rapid prototyping. So strap in, queue up the afterburners, and let's launch into the autonomous frontier for everything you need to know about Shield AI's XBAT prototype. The XBAT prototype's capabilities catapult it to the vanguard of unmanned combat systems, architected as a multi-domain loyal wingman to seize and sustain air superiority in denied access arenas with a synergistic arsenal of edge AI autonomy, low observable stealth, and expeditionary versatility, empowering it to infiltrate high threat zones, fuse multi-spectral sensor feeds for 360-degree battle space omniscience, and unleash precision effects against aerial threats, surface movers, or high-value targets with an accuracy that echoes the F-35 Lightning while slashing pilot risk and enabling operations from forward operating bases or distributed maritime platforms across theaters like the South China Sea. At its nucleus, this drone reigns in beyond visual range engagements, thrust by a solitary afterburning turbofan engine yielding over 20,000 pounds of thrust to achieve supercruise at Mach 0.9 for extended loiter and a top velocity of Mach 1.5 in bursts, outpacing Group 4 UAVs like the MQ-9 Reaper, while its tilt-rotor-assisted VATHOL mechanism, hydraulic actuators for 90-degree vectoring paired with a cranked kite wing for post-stall agility, affords instantaneous vertical ascents up to 2,000 feet per minute and hover endurance of 30 minutes for perched reconnaissance. Its stealth signature derives from broadband radar-absorbent coatings enveloping the airframe serpentine inlets masking turbine blades, and conformal bays stowing up to four AM-120D beyond visual range missiles or eight GBU-53 small diameter bombs 
preserving a frontal radar cross-section below 0.1 square meters to slip past integrated air defenses like the S-400 until inside firing envelopes, complemented by an active phased array radar with quantum dot amplifiers scanning 200 kilometers for low observable targets and 100 kilometers for maritime ones, amalgamated with a distributed infrared countermeasure suite for silent heat signature tracking that cues high off boresight launches sans emissions. For strike and electronic attack roles, the XBAT accommodates up to six external pylons with AGM-154 joint air-to-surface standoff missiles or hypersonic boost glide vehicles when Misha Tempo prioritizes volume over signature, with a ferry range topping 2,000 nautical miles on internal tanks, stretchable to 3,000 with conformal bladders, facilitating dispersals from expeditionary carriers to interdict adversary fleets in the Norwegian Sea, or island chains in the Western Pacific. Its hive mind autonomy kernel, fortified with federated learning algorithms, autonomously navigates contested electromagnetic spectra by spoofing jamming with digital radio frequency memory emitters or reallocating spectrum during saturation attacks, while the neural cockpit, virtually piloted via edge-computed wide field of regard displays and AI-mediated queuing overlays augmented reality threat symbology from a six-camera electro-optical turret array yielding spherical vigilance for seamless off-axis engagements like helmed helmetless intercepts or simultaneous CED and KS tasking. The system's relaxed stability fly-by optics flight laws and thrust vectoring nozzles sustain maneuvers up to eight G-forces for threat evasion absent inertial overloads. This holistic lethality renders the x an unparalleled swarm enabler, adept at spearheading autonomous cap to sanitize corridors, shadowing stealth bombers for layered penetrations, or executing standalone ELINT with hyperspectral imagers resolving signatures at submillimeter fidelity through obscurance, anchoring its primacy in evolving U.S. doctrine through the 2040s. To truly fathom the XBAT prototype's ingenuity, let's scrutinize its technical underpinnings and mission cadence, as Shield AI's architecture fuses biomimetic propulsion with distributed computing prowess, forging an airframe that's as elusive as it is expeditionary, spanning 26 feet in length, 39 feet across the wings in extended crews, and 4.7 feet high for a maximum gross weight of 12,000 pounds, animated by one Williams FJ44 afterburning turbofan dispensing 18,000 pounds dry and 25,000 with reheat for a thrust-to-weight quotient of 1.1 that propels cliff-face launches and Mach 1.5 surges. The structure's hybrid matrix of carbon nanotube composites and radar-evading metamaterials pairs 25% off legacy UCAV masses while attaining a broadband RCS of 0.05 square meters, owing to faceted diverterless intakes, canted empennage deflectors, and adaptive skins modulating infrared plumes and the variable sweep canards, articulating 0 to 30 degrees, optimized transonic handling for carrier trap recoveries, conjoined with a lambda-shaped mainplane for vortex lift augmentation. Avionics Apex with the Type 21 X-band, ASA fire control radar boasting 2,000 gallium arsenide modules for interleaved track wall scan and electronic protection modes, interwoven with the omnidirectional sensor lattice of eight midwave infrared seekers for passive acquisition out to 150 kilometers, and the virtual op space holographic neural interface with predictive analytics and gaze-directed effectors, where the hive mind designates kinetics by probabilistic intent. Payload suites encompass four internal bays for AM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles with 180-kilometer envelopes or eight laser-homing small-diameter bombs for close air support, augmented by six ventral stations for a dozen total, embracing MALJ decoys for suppression or hypersonic air W interceptors for anti-access denial, and the self-protection pod with laser dazzlers and kinetic interceptors thwarts inbound threats like PL-15 actives. Tactically, the expat executes with elegance. The swarm lead deploys from a palletized launcher on a literal combatant, vectors vertically to altitude, the AESA acquires a squadron at 200 kilometers, Hivemind assigns a Bayesian Optimal Fox 2 from the Ventral Bay, then executes an 8G split S while the lattice sustains God's Eye Evasion, all enveloped in a 1,500 nautical mile combat radius bridging Guam to the Spratleys, positioning it as a doctrinal disruptor for joint all-domain ops in Flashpoint theaters.
The expat prototype's doctrinal footprint is tectonic in America's pivot to autonomous air power, fortifying the U.S. Air Force and Navy's collaborative combat aircraft paradigm to wrest spectrum dominance in high-end warfights, notably across the Taiwan Strait or Arctic approaches, where its attritable autonomy and vertical dispersibility empower it to attrit peer fleets from dispersed vectors, interlocking with manned fighters and orbital relays for decision-grade fusion that neutralizes massed salvos. As Shield eyes 100 expats in low-rate production by 2028, it amplifies the joint all-domain command and control architecture, tandem flying B-21 Raiders, or synchronizing with NGAD 6th Gen platforms for asymmetric overmatch, while the Twin Bay Expat Prime variant amplifies its remit to constellation orchestration, shepherding flocks of VBAT ISR drones for emergent lethality webs. Fun fact, the Expat's tailsit Vito L yields an instantaneous turn radius of 150 meters at Mach 0.6, surpassing the F-22 in virtual dogfight sims at subsonic regimes. Another zinger, its hive mind core processes one teraflop of edge inference, sustaining 10-hour sorties in full-spectrum denial sun's ground links. As of October 21, 2025, the Expat prototype has electrified the defense ecosystem with its debut scale model showcase at Shield AI's headquarters, spotlighting initial design freeze milestones achieved just weeks after greenlighting in July 2025 as the Pentagon accelerates unmanned initiatives amid peer threats. Yesterday's reveal on October 21st featured live demos of hive mind simulations clocking flawless autonomy in jammed vignettes, with vertical flight tests slated for fall 2026 and full envelope trials by 2028 as shield quartz primes like Boeing for co-production. On October 20th, insiders leaked partnerships with Collins Aerospace for VTUL effectors, while official channels hailed the expats cranked kite stealth as a paradigm leap for sea-based surge, priming pavilion spots at the next Sea Airspace Expo to galvanize procurement and deterrence. Engine maturation with the FJ44 integration trails slightly, but with VBAT's $200 million Coast Guard nod as pedigree and exports in play for Five Eyes partners like Australia, the expat is vaulting Shield into the unmanned elite. The Shield AI expat prototype is a spectral sentinel of America's aerial evolution, fusing autonomy, agility, and armament to redefine the battle space. What are your thoughts on the expat? Awed by its 2,000 nautical mile uncrewed reach, Thrilled for Hivemind's swarm supremacy, or intrigued by its 7th gen fusion prospects? Spill your takes in the comments below, smash that, like if it vectored for you, forward it to your squad, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for more immersions into the drones dominating tomorrow's domains. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.